Hey guys, so it's been a long time, okay? It's been a long, long, long time. I don't even know. I've, I've like thrown some vlogs up here and there, but I haven't actually sat down and like caught up with my YouTube family. Um, First and foremost, I just wanna say I'm sorry for going MIA. I don't know, YouTube is like a funny platform. You just have to be like strategic with it and very consistent in order to keep up like your momentum and you know I just stopped being consistent for so long that I got out of the routine of even being a youtuber and I do really miss it I do I miss being in the routine of like waking up vlogging and just knowing like you guys are coming with me for my day we're just gonna catch up I asked you guys to send me questions on Instagram and I picked I didn't even really pick I just screenshotted like the majority of questions that I got so it was easier for me to just scroll through my camera roll and I'm just gonna answer things that I feel like are necessary for me to answer, things a lot of you guys ask me, and just things that help you understand where the freak I've been. Like you know what, since I'm already up, let me just get the day started and instead of doing like a mukbang, I'm gonna just do like morning coffee and I made some oatmeal, so this is very boring. This is not like, I know you guys wanna sit here and watch me eat some oatmeal, but that's just what I'm gonna eat for breakfast and I made myself some coffee in my Keurig. I am drinking it with a straw because I don't like staining my teeth. So I just drink everything with a straw that's going to have a color. I have this little Hey Girl mug from Target, I'm pretty sure. My oatmeal is cooling down, but I'm probably going to... Let me try some. Mm. I put honey in my oatmeal. And the directions said to add two thirds of milk. That was way too much. I only put half a cup of milk, but it was still a little too much. Like it could have been less because I like my oatmeal pretty thick. Mm. It's so hot. LA is going through a weird phase where the weather is either like really cold or it's hot. And it's been raining so today is like the first sunny day in a few days that's why i got my car wash because the rain crucified my car it was muddy just dirty terrible it needed a wash so i made sure it was going to rain the rest of the week before i did that these are in no order i'm just going to scroll through and we're gonna we're gonna just go with what we got by the way i'm in a little row because this is like my morning coffee cozy time so this is how i would normally be if i'm eating and i did like a light beat i'm not gonna sit here and be like I woke up like this no i did a light beat i used some tinted moisturizer and some blush and i have lash extensions so that really just makes me look put together because i'm gonna get some other content so i'm like let me just get ready for the day but we're gonna stay in my row because i want to be cozy all right so the first question how are you mentally which i really appreciate when people ask me that because not enough people ask you like how are you like how are you really you know so anyways, mentally, as of right now, at this point in time, mm, I, if I had to give you a percentage, I would say mentally, I'm probably at like um, a 68, odd number, but let me tell you why. So. This has been like a really difficult year for me, which we'll probably get into a little bit later. Um, it's been a really difficult year for me and I haven't been my happiest. I haven't worked my hardest. I've just, you know, been going through like a weird funk for a long time. And I feel like I've overcame some recent battles that now I'm kind of like falling back into like a peaceful, content space. But there's still a lot more that needs to be done, a lot more things that are stressing me out. And then I just want to take care of before the new year. Um, so I could be better, but I'm not terrible. Like, I'm not depressed, but I'm not, like, super happy and content. I'm, like, a 68, you know? I think that once I get a few more things handled and, like, I have a fresh new year starting, because we're in November. This month's already flying by. I think that... I will be closer to 100. I mean, I'm never going to be 100%, but closer to it. More than half, I'm better, but I but I could be even better. So hopefully that answers your question. Any trips coming up? Ooh, I love trips. Trips and vacations, like, well, same thing. 
that is my happiness. I find myself happy. I find myself the most happy when I'm traveling. There's just something about getting on a plane, like packing your outfits and just being in like a new environment. I'm very spontaneous, so I could think I'm not doing anything this week and then in a day find out I'm gonna go to Africa. Like, I'm so spontaneous. So if you're my friend and you wanna travel with me, you have to just be ready to get up and go. You can't have kids, cause we gotta just go, girl. We just gotta go. I'd be packing like hour before my flight and just be leaving. So I don't want to tell you guys because I'm not really for sure. In about a week, I may or may not be going to another country. And I've been there before, but I didn't really get to fully experience it. And then the trip I'm trying to plan in March, which I'll probably be going other places before then. But in March, it's cherry blossom season in Tokyo, right? So I, that's like on my bucket list. I've been to Tokyo, but when I went, it wasn't cherry blossom season. And I was there for probably only like three days. And it's a 12 hour flight from LA. So I'm trying to get my friends to tell them like, y'all get your shit together for March because we need to go to Tokyo for cherry blossom season. Like it's so beautiful. I'm gonna insert some pictures here and just show you guys how beautiful it is. Um, I've never really been around cherry blossom trees. My friend told me that they have them in DC where she's from, but I personally like never really been around them like that. And I think they're so beautiful. Like pink is my favorite color. It would just be so pretty for pictures. It's getting cold. It's so hard to eat and talk. Like, I haven't done that in so long. And it's so hard to do. Do you ever plan on getting another dog? What happened to Apollo and how was Halloween? We got a three in one. All right, girl. Um, do I ever plan on getting another dog? Let's start with that. 100% I do in the future not in the near future just in the future i even considered getting another dog um like a few months ago just a different breed like a breed that was more calm easier to train um because i love apollo if you guys don't know apollo is my baby that was like the first and only dog i've ever had um i've had a family dog but apollo was mine like that was my baby like i birthed him if you've seen that on tiktok you'll get my reference but yeah like got him like i think he's four years old now three and a half or four years old because i got him in november like years ago so his birthday's coming up he's a scorpio so yeah the thing is i just am not in the space to have that responsibility you know it's similar to having a child if not even more because dogs are more active like well, no, kids are pretty active, but you know, it's just, it's different, but it's the same. So I just wasn't ready for that responsibility. I had him on my own for a few years and then um, I just got really busy. Like I said, I'm spontaneous. I travel so much and at random times. So I was spending so much money, you guys, on like dog sitters. And I was like, dang, I'm, I'm spending a lot of money and I'm not even spending time with my dog. And dogs need love and attention and affection and quality time and I wasn't giving him that and I don't want to be selfish like he deserves to enjoy his life so it worked out because my grandmother loves him and she was willing to take him um take on him as responsibility that's her baby now he's still my baby but that's her baby too so he lives in Chicago with my grandma he lives a great lavish life he eats home-cooked meals every day he goes on long walks she cuddles and spends so much time with him so he he's living it up um i actually just saw him my grandma visited la not long ago and i i took him for a few days so he, me and him spent some time to get there and i think i posted so a lot of you guys were asking me like oh my god apollo like he's back but that was why i had him i'm gonna get another dog in the future just when i'm ready like i live in an apartment i don't have easy access to like outside i don't want to say like specifically where i live but it's not an area that i can just walk out and like have a dog i live on a high rise floor so that's another issue too and this is my first apartment where i don't have a balcony and the other question was how was halloween my halloween was not it that's normally my favorite season like i love spooky season i always want to do a million things haunted houses pumpkin patches i have costumes ready this year some stuff happened to me right before halloween and messed up my plans i didn't have a costume together 
like the rest of my October was pretty much canceled. So I didn't really enjoy it. Um, I went out on Halloween night because I was finally better, but I threw on like a last minute costume. How did you learn YouTube so fast? Like thumbnails. All right, to keep it short and sweet, DDG really taught me the YouTube game. Like he taught me how to do ads, he taught me how to edit videos. He taught me all the basics. So he taught me all the basics, obviously through trial and error, I kind of learned different things. As far as thumbnails, up until probably like almost a year ago, I was just paying someone to do thumbnails for me. I was paying them like $5, which that adds up, especially if you're consistent, which I used to be. So like say I last minute am like, I wanna post a video at 9 p.m. And then I have that person that's on a different time zone, and like obviously I can't like force them to stop whatever they're doing and make me one. So it was just annoying to be waiting around and I was paying them. So I learned how to do it myself with being an influencer hard with all the editing you have to do. Okay, for a lot of people being an influencer is like a jokey thing and people think it's easy and you just sit on your ass all day and it's just like, no. It's hard because you have to be responsible. You have to be self-sufficient. If you feel depressed one day and you don't want to get up and you just want to rot in bed, then you're you're not getting things done. You're not being productive. You're pushing back content that you have to have up, especially when it's sponsored or you have like a timeline. So you have to just be very responsible. And I am like not the most responsible person, especially when it comes to time management and just doing things consistently. So it's hard personally for me. I'm not complaining because obviously it's better than like going into a job but I will say there's moments where I'm like damn I wish I had a job that I had to wake up and be there at a certain time because it would just keep me like more grounded like knowing I have to get up I have to clock in or else that's gonna affect my pay or my job or I'm gonna get fired like everything is on me so you have to just be very responsible and very resilient um and it's hard when you're just going through stuff and you feel like you don't want to do anything which most of this year, that's how it's been for me. I've been really going through it. I have had lost lots of motivation to just get up and do things. So, yeah. But if you are good at like having a schedule and just being self-sufficient, then it's it, it's cool for you probably. And I think they, they asked me about editing. Is it hard with editing? Yes, because if you're talking about YouTube, I edit my own videos and it's very, very, very time consuming and I'm still not even like an amazing editor. What inspired you to be an influencer and have your own brand? Um, being my own boss. I don't want anyone telling me what to do. Like, like this contradicts what I just said about being self-sufficient and responsible, but at the same time, I don't wanna have a boss. I don't want someone telling me I have to be here at this time or I'm fired or following rules, dress codes. I wanna be my own boss. I wanna make my own schedule, my own decisions and control my own money. So that was really it. I mean, I didn't really plan like, of course when I was in school, I thought I was gonna have a whole different career. I was never thinking like, I'm gonna be an influencer and live in LA, never. I was gonna go to college for fashion marketing, fun fact. Um, then things just took a turn, which that's a whole nother story, but yeah, like opportunities just came and it worked out for me. But I like being my own boss. Even when I was with the modeling agency, which is what really brought me to LA first, I wasn't really happy because I was on someone else's, you know, like someone else controlled what I did. So that is a whole nother topic. That's why I'm not with an agency anymore. It just wasn't for me. I would love to like dabble back into modeling, but it wasn't a passion of mine. I'll be real with you. I would only do it now if it's like bigger opportunities or just worth it, but day to day it wasn't for me for that reason but i have worked regular jobs high school and end of high school i was working two jobs at the mall if you know you know og lala <laughs> and it was cool like for the time and for my age but i was miserable like i didn't want to go into work and deal with people what's the worst date you've ever been on okay so I already know the answer to this because i it's a story that i've told my friend hope he doesn't see this video because he's not a bad person but it just wasn't for me we went to a basketball game 
which that in itself was cool, whatever. I don't really like watching sports, so basketball is probably the only sport I can tolerate. It was so awkward, because one, like I said, I don't watch sports, so I'm not really like into the game, and I was thinking that was gonna be the time we're gonna talk, interact, like make conversation, because I've been to games before with friends, and we still talk, we have a good time, we, we have a little drink, you know? We didn't really talk at all, I just didn't feel comfortable. Then in the middle of the game, he's like, oh like my dad and my brother and some friends they're in the suites like i i want to go say hi to them this is our first date why would you why would you think like i don't want to meet your family so anyways we went there i met his father his brothers and his friends and it was so awkward because it's like this is a first date like i don't want to meet them then afterwards he kind of wanted to hang out but he was telling me he was like he wanted to hang out, but he didn't want to seem like he did. So it was that kind of vibe. And I was like, all right, well, if you like don't want to do anything else, me and my friend um, are going to go to dinner, which we were. I was texting my friend. I'm like, let's go eat after this. Anyways, he was trying to act like he had plans. He's like, oh, I'm going to go to my friend's house or kickback. I'm going to do this, whatever. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, have fun. Like, I was kind of giving him the opportunity to be like, we could still do something. And I was over the date, but that's just me trying to give it a chance and being optimistic. Um, and he was really acting like he had something to do. So he's like, I'll drop you off because where the game was, I wasn't far from there. And then he's like, oh, actually, do you mind if I come with you and your friend to eat? And my friend was already like waiting at my house. So I ended up riding with her and he followed us there because that was already our plan. Like last minute, I'm not gonna just like make her drive by herself when she met me at my house for us to ride together so we all meet at the restaurant and long story short the bill comes okay i know y'all are gonna come for me call me a gold digger whatever honestly say whatever you want but me personally you invited yourself to come on like a little girl date with me and my friend when we could have done anything we could have even gone and chilled after that i probably would have just stuck it out to be polite um but yeah you invited yourself the red the bill was so cheap you guys he asked if he could send me if he could sell me money for his portion when the bill comes so basically he's like oh can i just later on like sell you for my food you know what usually if that would happen i would just pay for the whole bill and be like don't even worry about it honestly truly because you're not obligated but it's like that's a little corny like i'd rather just pay for it myself because never you know never that deep y'all if you want to come for me come for me i know my standards and what i bring to the table and i just felt like that was a little childish he's a sweet person but it just wasn't for me i like him more dominant guy he wasn't dominant he wasn't outgoing i'm very shy i need the opposite i need just someone that like you know just knows what to do do you love la and see yourself living there forever yes and kind of so i love la i love my living space i love living here with that being said i mean i like my apartment i like the lifestyle i like the areas of la i don't like the people i don't like the nightlife and i don't really love the food and i have friends that are from la they're always like there's so many spots you just have to go to and i'm like okay send me a list because i need to know i do see myself always having a place here because i feel like it's a good home base but i do love leaving la but then when i leave and i'm like okay i'm ready to go home i can't wait to come home so there's nothing beats like the weather and just like the lifestyle it's a very chill lifestyle um there's nowhere else i could really see myself living living if new york wasn't cold i'd probably give that a shot but it's too cold miami is like my in the middle place but it's too hot so i have a lot of relationship questions the internet <laughs> ruins everything and i'm an overshare especially like when i was really deep into my youtube i just feel like there were certain things i overshared and then everyone has their opinions and i love y'all well the ones that are not haters and the people that really support me and aren't mean but like at the same time y'all don't really know me you know what i show you what i choose to show you 
and your assumptions based off like what I what's posted and what you know people say on the internet and that is fine but I've just learned like to just keep certain things private if you love it keep it private and that goes for relationships friendships career choices just things that you love so um all I'm gonna say is I'm in an interesting place in terms of relationship that's all I'll say and I'm choosing to keep those things private because I don't really know right now what I'm in the mood for I might want to be single today I might want to be in a relationship tomorrow you never know so yeah and I when I'm in a relationship I just focus so much on that person I'm like a lover girl I get invested I'm obsessed I'm watching everything you do I want to talk to you all day and that is not helpful for my my personal goals like I'm not as focused and I need to be more focused and on my shit so that is what I'm, I'm that's the mental space I'm in right now yeah that, that's it honey so a few people asked me this but are you and ddg cool and just about him um yes life just is life so things change people have different schedules people live their lives whatever um but we are definitely still cool we actually just caught up the other day and you know he gave me a lot of advice and just motivation to like get back into things because i've lost this year if there's one thing i lost it was my motivation to do everything. Like this was such a rough year for me. Like overall, as a year, as a whole, when it came to just everything, it wasn't like, it wasn't one thing. I just, I, I had to go through a lot of obstacles and push myself a lot. So yeah, we had a good conversation. We caught up. I'm so happy for him and his success and just, you know, like I'm just happy for him because we've known each other for some years now. We've known each other for a while now. I've seen him grow. He's seen me grow. We've changed. We've just elevated. So I'm very proud of him. I'm very happy for him and his success um, and everything. And yeah, I think we'll always be cool. There's just moments, even with some of my girlfriends, like where you, you know, you go through phases, you guys might not talk for a while and then you do. How is your clothing line going so far? Um, so if you don't know, I have a brand called Nyella. A few months ago, like the end of the summer, I released like a satin swim collection. I really took my time on it. I hand sketched everything. I did a lot of research, found the right manufacturer. It was the process. Overall, I was happy with how the products came out. Um, I released it a lot later than I planned. I wanted to release it a little sooner in the summer and it was the end of the summer. But for me, like people go on vacations year round and I figured like, it's okay because I'd be going on vacations in the middle of the winter and I'd be needing swimsuits. So I know other people probably do as well. And I was like, I'm still gonna just put it out. I worked really hard, I spent a lot of money on it, but some stuff happened like closer to that time that really just set me back. Um, needless to say, um, I do have a few things I wish I could have done better with it, with promoting and just stuff. Cause I, I worked so hard on like the back end of it. I'm kind of just brainstorming to try to decide if I want to like launch something else soon or just work on some stuff, take my time. So I'm just brainstorming. That's the stage I'm in. I still have a little bit left of that collection. So I have a discount right now, 30% off um, using the code and I still have a little bit of stuff left. So go get it. It's a great discount right now. One thing I really regret is I never did like a haul of, of me trying it on, which I would have, I should have done that because duh i do it for other people's brands but like i said at the time it was so much going on and i just didn't have the time to do it i had to just pick up and just like leave and just do a lot of stuff that was unexpected so that was kind of pushed back and i still dropped but i didn't get to do all the extra stuff that i wish i would have done so i do still have some stuff in stock i know it's like <laughs> not summer anymore but would you guys still be interested in me doing like a try on haul for my brand because i mean still mostly available and I never got to do it but I just felt weird doing it so late so let me know if you guys would want to see that or if you think it's too late and it's pointless now let me know as well best life advice I'm gonna keep it simple because I feel like there's just too many answers for this um my tattoo no rain no flowers can't really show you but 
that's my best life advice no rain no flowers and just do you if you want to do something do it because as humans we have to go through life lessons we have to learn from our mistakes we have to go through trial and errors so if you want to do something just do it don't care about what other people think and you might end up you know regretting it or learning from it or how to make better choices but we have to go through experiences and trials and tribulations to learn so i would just say follow your heart do what you want live for you don't live for other people don't try to be like anyone else um and no rain no flowers you're gonna go through things before things get better and every time i go through something there's a rainbow so you have to it's just just life because i never said what it was i was just tweeting about it but for the last two weeks i was on my deathbed y'all like i was so sick um i had went to disneyland which i vlogged and that night i just felt it coming like my throat was aching it felt like i was swallowing glass i didn't have strep throat but it, my throat was sore I had a fever cold sweats just every symptom you could think of and the next day i had plans to go to atlanta because i was getting a chemical peel with won't name them because I didn't have a good experience and I don't want to even like talk negatively about someone's business but it just didn't work out for me so I was not only sick I was having like an allergic reaction from a chemical peel I had to come back on a flight sick as ever um and I was sick for like almost two weeks and my face like the chemical peel it was so deep messed up my skin it left a lot of marks which I got it for discoloration and it made it worse and I had to go to a dermatologist i had to get on medication so that was what i was going through i could like talk in depth about that in another video because i'm running out of time but i was going through it i was like praying like please let me get through this please i couldn't do anything i was in my house it was terrible and that was right before halloween so that's why i was saying my the rest of my october was kind of ruined because i was going through that and i'm still recovering with my face like i'm gonna start getting microneedling again and you know just time has to go by and with that question i was asked how do you take care of yourself mentally when you're not feeling good and me personally and all my friends know this i just have to be alone like i'm the type of person if i'm having a bad day i'm gonna go take a nap and just isolate like i have to just be alone i don't like when people take it personal but i may not talk to you like may not talk to my friends but they know like it's not personal i just have to just be alone and just think and sleep and relax and just get into it. my camera died which i was just waiting for it to die and i'm not even going to charge it again um i'm just going to finish on my phone oh my god this piece of hair is just driving me crazy so anyways i hope that the last question i answered was saved i really hope it was i was talking about like my mental health i was saying that when i'm going through things and i'm like in a little depressed mood or just don't have good mental health for me personally, I have to just take time to be alone. I have to self isolate and I just, I love just taking naps when I'm sad. Like, I don't know if you've seen the little meme or people tweet about it, but it's like, when you're having a bad day, just go to sleep, like, or with something, whatever. But that's me all day. Like I sleep, sleep, sleep when I'm sad. I don't know why it's just, oh, and I have really bad retail therapy. I, I go online shopping. I, I just self isolate when I'm going through things. That's just what works for me. Personally, I don't like being social. I don't like talking. I just got to go through the emotion of whatever I'm going through. Also, if you didn't know, well, you probably don't. I have really bad social anxiety. Like, it's so bad when I just go out in public. Like, I'm so socially awkward. So, in general, I'm very introverted and I like being alone. It's just up even more when I'm going through something. This was a very, very long video. I don't know, I'm gonna have a field day editing this. Felt like it was necessary for it to be long because you guys had a lot of questions. I still didn't even answer everything. I like to keep things a little more personal now because I've just learned to shut up sometimes. But I tried my best and I'm really gonna get in the routine now. Um, I'm trying to set a personal schedule for myself on when I wanna pre-film videos, when I wanna post. So let's, let's be back consistent. It's almost a new year. I'm excited um, to take on like a new year, a fresh start, new goals. And I miss you guys. I miss you guys a lot. I miss my YouTube family. I miss being consistent. I miss the YouTube world. I love watching YouTube. There's so many girls I love watching on here that I'm like, why am I not still doing this? You know, just, just comment everything. Like, subscribe, go watch my other videos. Send this to your mama, your grandma, your boyfriend, your dad, 
your teacher, your kids, 